timer and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood considering it surgical and options question, kindly tell me uh, if you can identify the muscles. What is this or the structures on the back? If you can identify this. That's a sacrum. Okay, can you identify this? Hylia crest. Hylia crest, okay. Can you identify this muscle? Gluteus medius. Okay. Uh, what is the nerve supply of this muscle? Yes, it's supplied by the superior gluteal nerve. Okay. Can you identify this big muscle? Gluteus maximus. Okay. What is the nerve supply of this muscle? Inferior gluteal nerve. What is the origin insertion of this muscle? The gluteus maximum originates from the posterior border of the sacrum the cosix, the sacrotuberous uh, ligament, okay. and also posterior to the posterior uh, gluteal line. Can you tell me the action, uh, mode of action of this muscle? The muscle forms the bulk of the, of the buttocks, and uh, yes. it, uh, its contraction uh, co stabilizes the hip joints. And also, it's a lateral rotator of the hip joint. Okay. Can you tell me the action of gluteus medius? The gluteus medius also uh, acts by stabilizing the hip joint, and also it externally or laterally rotates the hip joint. All right. Uh, the weakness of gluteus medius and minimus presents with the typical clinical sign. Can you name it? Yes, it's called Tredelenburg uh, sign. Okay, okay. How would you test that clinically? Yes, clinically, I will I will ask the patient to to flex the hip and the knee of the of one of the of one of the legs while standing behind the patient and observing the the orientation of the of the of the hip. So okay. if there is if there is a sagging of the contralateral hip while the patient lifts, for example, if the patient lifts up the left of the right, of the leaves of the right uh, foot, and there is sagging of the contralateral uh, side, then there is a palsy or weakness of the ipsilateral, uh, gluteus, medius, and minimum. And that's a, a positive uh, tridelenburg test. Okay. Can you please tell me uh, this typical sign is produced be, or, or this typical uh, gait is produced because of the injury to which nerve? It's an injury to the inferior gluteal nerve. Superior. Superior gluteal nerve, right, Amma. Yes, Thank yes. you. Yes. Can you tell me uh, the surface marking of the sciatic nerve, please? Yeah, the sciatic nerve is uh, located at the point equidistant between the posterior iliac, uh, posterior superior iliac spine, and the symphysis pubis, and the uh, ischial tuberosity. And it's also located at a point equidistant between the uh, ischial tuberosity and the greater two cancer. Okay, what is the root value of triadic nerve? The root is L4, L5, S1, S2, S3. Good. Okay, can you tell me all the structures which exit uh, from the greater triadic foramena above the piriformis muscle? Above the piriformis, uh, the, the superior gluteal and now uh, the superior gluteal artery. Mm, superior gluteal vessels and nerve 
Okay. Yes. Can you and tell me, uh, sometimes sciatic nerve uh, while exiting the pelvis has variations as well. Can you name a few variations? Yes, ma. There are variations in 25% uh, of, the, of the population. Uh, usually in 75% of cases, is exit below the, the piriformis uh, muscle. However, in 25% of cases, the, uh, the sciatic nerve could, uh, could pass through the piriformis muscle. It could emerge from the piriformis and uh, divide immediately into the two branches, which are the tibial and the common uh, perineal nerve. In, uh, in another 11% uh, of cases, it could trifurcate, dividing into the into continuing as the sciatic nerve and then dividing immediately into the common perineal and then the tibial nerve. Okay, good. Can you tell me about the quadratus uh, lumbarum, quadratus femoris muscle? The quadratus insertion, yes. The quadratus femoris is a is a is a quadrangular shaped uh, muscle in the gluteal region, originating from the lateral surface of the ischial uh, tuberosity and uh, inserting in the quadrituberco of the femur. Yes. What is the nerve supply and mode of action of this muscle? It's a, it's a lateral uh, rotator of the, of the hip uh, joint and uh, it is supplied by the, by the no. inferior glute. Uh, yes, by the nerve to obturate. No, nerve to no quadratus femur. Yes. Nerve okay. When you have to test the sensations of S1, where would you test it? S1, lateral uh, side of the foot. Good. Uh, if you have to test sensation of L4, where would you test it? Over the media myelus. Okay, if you have to test for the deep peroneal nerve, where would you test that? In the first uh, digital cleft. First of the okay. Yes, and uh, where would you test the sensation for superficial peroneal nerve? Superficial peroneal nerve over the dosum of the. And of the, the last foot. one, the sural nerve is tested where? Uh, posterior calf. Okay, can you please identify these uh, structures in picture A? What is three? Three is the head of the femur. Yes, what is this six? Is the neck of the femur. Two, please. Greater trochanter of the femur. Four, please. Four is the intertrochanteric uh, ridge or line. Five, please. Lesser trochanter. Nine, please. Is a yes. shaft of femur. Yes. Uh, three, please. Three in picture B. Yes, is the. It's the same, right? Yes, is the head of the femur. Yes, uh, eleven, please. Eleven is the. It's still the greater trochanter for in, five. Uh, in five, five is the lesser trochanter. Okay, four here in picture C of the right hand side. Is a is a fovea of the femur where the ligamentum teres at attaches. All right. Okay. These have been asked. Okay, 12, please. In picture A of the right hand side. With 12. Uh, I'll come back to that, ma. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, right. Six here, please. In the picture B of the right hand side. Okay, we'll get back to that later. Nice. Yes, ma'am. Can you please explain what are you looking at? Is an angiogram. Is yes. an angiogram of the. Yes. Yes, of, of the femoral, of the femoral artery. Okay. Can you identify the structures? Uh, labeled one to seven. One is a femoral is a femoral uh, artery. Two is, one is the external iliac artery. Two is the femoral artery. The seven is the superficial femoral artery. Six is the profunda femoris. Uh, five, five is uh, one of the branches of the profunda femoris. 
three is the lateral circumflex uh, uh, femoral artery. Five is the medial uh, circumflex uh, femoral artery. And four, four is uh, one of the uh, superficial uh, branches, superficial circumflex iliac or big. Okay, everyone else are listening? Is he telling correct? Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, started your timer and here is your question. 